The devil's trying to break my wall, but so we don't fall. I'll be here keeping commandments, man. Uh, scripture flexing with my Bible on me. Where's yours? I'm just checking, homie. Take a glance. Good morning. My name is Abiyah, meaning Yahweh is my father. Most of y'all know me as Daniel or B-Boy D or Danny. But I want to bring a message to you guys today from the Bible. Holy Bible, King James Version. This one has the Apocrypha. A lot of my Christian family think that you can eat whatever you want as long as you pray for it. I'm going to destroy that right now. Prove that God is not the author of confusion. Yahweh is not the author of confusion. A lot of y'all say you're followers of Hawashai, or you guys call him Jesus. And um, but you go ahead and eat whatever you want, because you know the pastor took a verse and or somebody taught you that according to this verse, um, says you can eat whatever you want. But if Yahawashai didn't eat anything he wanted, and he only ate what was sanctified by the word of God, then why? We have Christians eating whatever they want. It doesn't make any sense. And that's all that Yahweh Shai did was fulfill the will of the Most High, was being obedient to his Father. All right, let's go to Deuteronomy 2, 3, 4, and then go to 8. It says, For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God, and the Lord hath chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself above all the nations that are upon the earth. Thou shalt not eat any abominable thing. These are the beasts which ye shall eat, the ox, the sheep, and the goat, and the swine. This is verse 8. Because it divideth the hoof, yet cheweth not the cud, it is unclean unto you. Ye shall not eat of their flesh, nor touch their dead carcasses. So now, what's going on here? Oh, we can eat pork. I just pray over it. Makes no sense. Let me show you right now. This is really guys. It says here we're gonna go to 1 Timothy chapter 4, uh, verse 1 through 5. Now the Spirit speaketh expressively that in the later times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Alright. Anything outside the Bible is doctrines of devils. Because speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience shared with a hot iron, meaning the, the doctrine that's been taught to them is so embedded in them that when you prove them according to the word of God, what God says, they still deny that that's what it's saying. You guys might do that with this too. Um, forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meats which God have created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. For every creature of God is good and nothing to be refused if it be received with thanksgiving. All right? For it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. Okay. So there they go. That's where they, oh, you see, it's sanctified by the word and, and prayer. And it says, and then they go with four. For every creature is good and nothing to be refused if it be received with thanksgiving. So let's go back to three, okay? Forbidden to marry and commanding to abstain from meats which God have created to be received with thanksgiving. Now here's the important part of this verse. It says, of them which believe and know the truth. Okay, so who are them that I can receive foods of thanksgiving from? And it says, of them which believe. And what do these people have to believe in? Let's show you. Let's go to Ecclesiasticus 32 and 24. That's in the Apocrypha. And that's uh, Ecclesiastics or Sirach for some of you guys. Ecclesiastica. All right, so this is what we need to believe. This is, you can receive foods of thanksgiving from them that believe. Well, believe in what? He that believeth in the Lord Take if heed to the commandment, and he that trusts in him shall fear never the worse. Again, you can receive foods with thanksgiving of them that believe. Believe what? He that believeth in the Lord, taketh heed to the commandment, 
and he that trusts in him shall fear never the worse. That's what they need to believe in. And know the truth. So I can receive foods of thanksgiving from them which believe and know the truth. Well, what is the truth? Well, the truth is in Psalms 119, 142. Let me show you what the truth is. Psalms 119. The truth. So what is truth? The Bible defines itself. A lot of us try to go outside the Bible to define the Bible, but the, the Bible defines itself. So what is truth? Truth according to the Bible is in Psalms 119, 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness and thy law is the truth. What's the truth? Thy law is the truth. So if we go back and we read, now we understand who we can receive foods of thanksgiving from. Okay? Forbidding to marry and command. This is 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 3. Forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meats which God have created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. So what they have to believe in? They have to believe in the Lord and, the com and take heed to the commandments. And they need to know the truth. And the truth is the law. So you think if they believe in the Lord and know the truth, they're going to serve you a pork sandwich? No. And if they try to serve you a pork sandwich, then they don't know the truth. Because the truth is the law that God gave us to, to, dis to distinguish what we can and cannot eat. So if they believe in the Lord and they know the truth, which is the law... You think they're going to serve you a pork sandwich? No way. For every creature is good and nothing to... This is verse 4. For every creature is good and nothing to be refused. Yes, every creature is good because every creature has a purpose on earth. And we read that in Genesis 1.21. Everything is good. Everything that God made is good. But he also put a law distinguishing what we can and what we cannot eat. And he doesn't change. We can read that in Malachi. All right. Again, to refuse if it be received with thanksgiving. Now we can receive foods of thanksgiving from who? From them that believe and know the truth. For it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. So sanctified by the word of God is an important part of this verse too. This is the word of God. And if you go through the Bible... Is swine, is pork sanctified by the word of God? No. It tells you not to eat pork, not to eat swine, not to eat shrimp, lobster. Those things are not sanctified by the word of God. And you being a man or a woman don't have the authority to sanctify any food. God has the authority to sanctify so just that alone right there destroys that whole doctrine of you can eat whatever you want because you receive it from, from Thanksgiving. You only receive food of Thanksgiving from them who believe and know the truth. And if they believe in the Lord and they know the, the truth, the commandments, they're not going to serve you pork or shrimp or lobster, anything. They're not going to serve you anything outside of this Bible. Don't let people lead you to hell, bro. Don't let people lead you to hell. You got to read this thing for yourself and get proper understanding. I hope that, that that's the breakdown for 1 Timothy 4, 1 through 5. This is what the Christians use to, to tell you that you can eat whatever you want. And that's false, man. You're going against God's laws is an abomination to eat those things. God himself, not Yahweh Shai, not Jesus, God told Moses tell the children of Israel don't eat swine and then you're going to tell me that Yahweh Shai came to do the will of God died for our sins and now because he died for us we can do you know we can eat whatever we want now I don't know that doesn't make no sense to me that's not clear and God is not the author of confusion man is confusion let's go to Psalms 118 and 8 it is better to trust in the Lord 
than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust in this word right here than to put confidence in man. And with that, I say shalom. You know, just hopefully that edified you guys. And just know, man, don't don't let nobody lead you to hell, man. Um, God is good. Yahweh Shai is good. Yahweh is good. And uh, but he does punish. And um, you know, my mom was telling me that in uh, First Corinthians, we were reading that together. So um, praise to the Most High, Kum Yasharala, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. <laughs>